Love. I'm the executive director of ACPA, College Student Educators International in Washington, D.C. We're in New York City today, and we've been celebrating the LGBT Presidents and Chancellors Leadership Institute, held in partnership with Teachers College at Columbia and also with the Manhattan School of Music. Why is it so important? Because for students to feel safe and to know that those campuses are welcoming, support them in their identity and in their future and their success, they need to know that their leaders can be open on those campuses, truthful to who they are and living with integrity and power. I want to introduce our membership to one of our partners who helps us help you on the colleges and campuses around the United States. And the first portfolio is called the Parity Portfolio, which is based on gender and looking at gender criteria. But we also started a second portfolio this past year that's called our Diversity and Inclusion Strategy. And that there we are looking at LGBT issues. We're looking at diversity across the board, disability, age, gender, race, etc. And we're looking at 22 different metrics connected to diversity and inclusion issues, so what parental leave policies are like, um, what the HIV AIDS policy at a company looks like. So we really believe that there is a diversity advantage and we should use it to, to help our clients invest with their values and make money at the same time. that President Barack Obama just a few days ago named a new national monument in our national park system in honor of the activists who on June 28, 1969, had had enough. There's still work to do. As we saw two weeks ago in Orlando, the LGBT community still faces real discrimination. I'm grateful for everyone who came today and showed up and said we will not tolerate violence in our lives and we're going to honor human dignity in the lives of every individual in the world. No more hate, no more violence, no more discrimination.